Frisco, Texas or Fort Worth, Texas? Which is the better alternative to Dallas, Texas? Now, might sound like a weird question, but you're in an airport in Denver, Colorado, and people ask you where you're from. A lot of times someone will say Dallas, but they might mean any of a hundred different cities under that kind of big umbrella of Dallas. It could be Fort Worth, it could be Frisco, Plano, Allen, McKinney, whatever. But Dallas is the thing that our area is most known for, even though there's a lot of different cities. I mean, look on the map behind me, there's a lot going on. So often someone says we're moving to Dallas, but they end up choosing one of these other communities. So if that is the situation, which one would be better for you? Frisco, Texas or Fort Worth, Texas? Let's get a couple things out of the way really quickly. Dallas is here, southeast corner really of the giant DFW Metroplex. Frisco is basically due north, straight up the Dallas North Tollway, all the way north, splits Frisco pretty much in half. 35 minutes to an hour, depending on traffic and kind of which way you go and which part of Frisco and which part of Dallas, all those things. For, you know, Far south to far north could be an hour and a half, depending on things. But due north, rapid recent growth. Now, Fort Worth, due west of Dallas and basically connected by mass, you know, by almost constant developed neighborhood, commercial, all those things. Fort Worth, uh, if Dallas wasn't here, would still be one of the largest cities in Texas and certainly one of the largest cities in the country. Still a very big city on its own. Smaller than Dallas, much larger. General geography, we got that worked out. Now, why would you prefer one over the other? This just depends on your preference and your lifestyle and your needs. They're both fantastic places to live for some of the same reasons and a few of the different ones. Well, what's the difference? Frisco uh, is, in theory, a newer community, meaning that a lot more, Frisco's had rapid growth recently, so a lot more of Frisco is brand new. Uh, Frisco uh, was for a long time thought of as a far, far north edge suburb of Dallas or of the DFW Metroplex and has, I say recently, in the last 15 or 20 years, become a population center of its own. Large corporate campuses like J.P. Morgan Chase, Toyota, uh, and Frisco really almost is indistinguishable from West Plano in some ways, where there's big corporate campuses like Frito-Lay, Pepsi, and Toyota, and things like that. So Frisco has uh, AAA baseball, it's got some hockey, it's got big, massive kind of IKEA-type uh, uh, retail, uh, as well as restaurants everywhere, right? So there's a lot more to say there, but let's look at Fort Worth. Fort Worth actually also has pretty much everything we just said, but it also has older, more traditional, you know, train station, downtown Fort Worth feel and vibe, as well as new, massively, rapidly expanding outer edges. And then of course, Frisco has many of its own suburbs. Frisco, uh, I'm sorry, Fort Worth has many of its own suburbs. Frisco is beginning to be at a critical mass where some of the cities around it are starting to operate like suburbs of Frisco, but really until very recently were just their own you know, independent uh, cities with identities of their own. Both cities have everything you could need. I mean, almost every single thing you could need. Now, uh, the major airport in the area, DFW Airport, is in between. Um, not directly in between, but, but you know, both cities would, would really uh, call transportation, you know, primarily that hub would not be inside either city, but is accessible by both. Um, both have excellent healthcare, uh, school options, both um, public, private, uh, higher education and, and beyond. Uh, Frisco is home to more of those things. I mean, I'm sorry, Fort Worth is home to more of those things because it's larger. Home to T uh, Texas Christian University and others. Um, Frisco has some campuses of some regional as well as uh, local and community college type things. Uh, Frisco has been the home to major bowl games. So has Fort Worth. Fort Worth is unique in that it has a lot of uh, aviation. You see uh, Bell Helicopter. Uh, you see American Airlines. Um, you see Lockheed Martin. Uh, you have an Air Force base in Fort Worth. So you see a lot of aviation. You also see a lot of oil and gas, especially natural gas with the Barnett shale discovery and all the development there being in the region. So you see a lot of industry there. Fort Worth by design, certainly it was natural and real early on, but they've certainly clung to this feeling of cow town, this country uh, cowboy mentality. 
by all means, you can find plenty of other culture and opportunity and experience. You can live there and never see it if you wanted. But that has been sort of the chamber of commerce. The the development approach is, hey, we're going to be Cowtown. The stockyards are there. Very unique personality in that regard. Fort Worth Rodeo is a big deal, as well as the stock show. Uh, a lot of country music concerts. Again, plenty of other things, but very much proud of that reputation. Frisco, not nearly as distinct in its reputation uh, to one type of culture, meaning, you know, Fort Worth has clung to that country western. Frisco, not so much. Frisco has more of a new up and coming uh, suburban. Younger may not be a fair label, but it's one that some people put on it, right? It's just a a, a rapidly growing community of, of, you know, big, nice neighborhoods, um, access to the whole northern edge of the Metroplex, um, a lot of different industry and more and more coming all the time. I would say that generally speaking, the reputation of Frisco is a more retail focused reputation. Lots of high-end restaurants, high-end retail. Obviously, parts of Fort Worth have all of that. But the community as a whole for Frisco is known for tons of restaurants, tons of retail, new, clean, rapidly growing um, commercial development. Now, as far as residential, uh, again, Frisco, for the most part, is newer, large homes on fairly normal suburban lots, quarter acre, fifth of an acre. You definitely see some acreage property where Fort Worth really offers the whole gamut. You've got some older historical homes. You've got sort of the natural gentrification cycles of in town, out of town, revitalizing. You know, you've got some golf course communities. Frisco definitely has those. The PGA just moved to Frisco. The Dallas Cowboys are based in Frisco. Uh, So you've got plenty of excitement there, but not quite as much history. uh, And maybe, you know, you definitely don't have parts of Frisco that are as old as parts of Fort Worth, or at least look and feel that way. Uh, Fort Worth is going to have the whole gamut of parts of town that some people like, some people don't like, you know, uh, older, newer, larger homes, smaller homes, more expensive homes, more affordable homes. Frisco is starting to get some of that diversity of options, but has historically, historically been a suburban neighborhood type of community. So I could go on and on and on for hours, but why would you choose one over the other? Probably based on your unique needs and desires, right? If you're big on uh, older homes, older buildings, older community, Fort Worth's just going to offer you more of that. Again, partially because it's bigger and it has more of everything. Yeah, it'll feel more like a traditional city with offering, you know, suburban living, uh, urban living, rural and all of it. And of course, they really cling to that rural suburban vibe. Uh, Frisco is going to offer you just about all the same things, not nearly as many options. It's just a significantly smaller community, but a exploding community that many believe will potentially in the long run be a new population center as opposed to being the northern edge of Dallas or Dallas-Fort Worth. Cities to the north of Frisco are exploding like crazy all the way up into Oklahoma. So hopefully that gives you a glimpse. If you're looking for kind of a younger, more retail vibe, Frisco might be a good fit for you, but some would say there's not quite enough of that yet because it's still growing and gaining. If you're looking for, you know, uh, rodeos and country western dancing, Fort Worth's going to offer you a lot more of that. Uh, If you're looking to be on the west side geographically to have access to things to the west, then Fort Worth's your pick. If you're looking, if your life is more north, if you've got family in northern states or areas to that side, then Frisco might be your, your pick. You know, there's lots of reasons to love both communities. Hopefully we've given you plenty to think about, but if you have more questions, Ask them in the comments below. We'll answer every single one. If you're looking to buy a home in the area, that's what we do. We're a real estate brokerage. We'll answer your questions in the comments. We'd love to connect with you offline. Our our information is below.